Hey guys, it's Emma here, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a cruise to Bronston. Um, but then at the start of the cruise, we ended up getting stuck, and a boat had to pull us out. Um, but let's go! So as we were coming off the mooring, um, it was actually really windy that day and we thought it wouldn't be that bad, but it was that bad. We ended up uh, getting the windwind leathers out and then while we were trying to get out of our mooring, we ended up getting stuck on a big rock. Uh, we tried to sort of push out with our pole, um, but it just wouldn't budge. Uh, it was like really wedged on the rock, uh, nothing was working. So we decided we just had to wait for a boat to come past to pull us off. Um, so luckily, they did. A uh, boat came and they sort of tied us to the back of their boat and went forward and we got off. So I want to say a big thank you to the really nice boat who helped us get off that rock because we probably would have been stuck there all day and it would have not been good. Uh, so thank you again. Here's our trip to Bornston. thinking twice and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories I've been told they never seem to lead my mind Ooh, on this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time So we arrived at Bronston um, and there weren't that many moorings around since, you know, it was really busy. It's sort of a really busy place. So we had to moor under this tree. So we had bad solar and bad Wi-Fi. So it was not a good combo. So we only stayed there, I think, for about a day and then moved on sort of further down. So this is like me just sort of scouting around the area, trying to see where moorings could possibly be. Uh, there's also Midland Chandler's here, which if you've seen my previous videos, uh, Midland Chandler's is my favorite place to go. It is amazing there. Um, so I was just looking around. Uh, this is sort of the uh, bridge that goes onto a different canal, which is really cool. Um, as sort of two entrances. Uh, and we will be turning on to that canal uh, soon. Um, but yeah. We have to try and keep up Cause this life's so much more Ooh, And I still wonder Where you are Now here is Midland Chandler's. Uh, Midland Chandler's is sort of a boating um, sort of shop that you can sort of find around sort of the canal areas. Um, I love Midland Chandler's. Midland Chandler's has even given me a jacket from their shop, which I cherish to this day. Um, it was a lot of fun going back in Midland Chandler's. I haven't been there in a while. Uh, and again, all their stuff is very cool. <laughs> I have actually done a video sort of t uh, touring a Midland Chandler's. I don't really recommend you check it out. It is one of my favorite videos um, and it's a really good Midland Chandler's. 
So after that, uh, we managed to sort of find a mooring sort of further in Bronston, and we were actually moored opposite uh, the bowl house. So we decided to treat ourselves and sort of go in since we haven't had sort of pub food, I guess, in a while. And it was really good. Uh, I showed I showed a picture. I had a burger and chips and sort of a sundae, and then my mom got some food as well. Um, but it was really good. If you're around the area, I definitely recommend the boat house because the food is very good there. We even tried to do some trading, um, but it was very quiet towpath, so nobody really went along. I think we ended up making one sale, uh, which is good. Um, and we also sort of sold uh, some swan food, some swan and duck food, um, so sort of kids could come along or just people could come along and then feed the ducks or swans. So we took a walk into Bronston's village because we needed some sort of shopping there and there was a little shop. Um, and then we walked past uh, All Saints Church. There's been three churches on this site uh, since the Norman times. So this church was built uh, after the second church um, was demolished uh, in 1848. So as we were walking into Bronst Bronston village, uh, we actually walked past some uh, beautiful uh, cottage gardens. So I took some f uh, pictures of the flowers and I'll show those now. So we came to help on this water point, um, <clears throat> and as you can see, you know, we can't fall up here. Someone took the metal sort of um, clasp that can make you sort of put the hose point on, and you can't do that here because somebody stole it. So we're going to go up to the water point, sort of up uh, there, and hopefully fill up on water. There's also the Elson, but apparently that's also broken down. So this water point is a total failure, I think. <laughs>
so we have more up now uh, we may possibly move after this if the wi-fi isn't that good um but hopefully it will be so we can stay um but now we're just gonna have lunch uh where our ward is actually really nice um hopefully again it will have good internet uh but there's also like a sign for a pub so we might have a look at that maybe um but today was a nice cruise it's really hot it is summer definitely uh so hopefully it may cool down i'm definitely looking forward to sort of the autumn time uh where the leaves will fall down and it'll just be much cooler but it'll be that nice in between um but yeah so i just want to say a quick thank you to my new patreon i want to say a big thank you to jerry for uh donating to my patreon it means the world to me and i'm really glad you're enjoying my videos hey so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a like a subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i do a video and comment on my social medias my patreon and my gmail the never girl at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me and you also have a address if you like some new letters um but yeah see you later bye